What do we say when we do our kicks, everybody? Let me go now. Let me go now. Okay. There wasn't one of those kids that always wanted to be a police officer. Okay, back up. I think I'm one of the lucky people who've been able to blend their outside hobby passion with police work. It's all about protection. By day, Corporal Steve Hisco instructs police officers on use of appropriate force, and by night, Sensei Hisco teaches kids and adults on defending unwanted force. I think it's really important that people be able to protect themselves, either through using their, you know, their, their words and being assertive and having that self-confidence and not looking like a victim, but also having the physical skills that if you are grabbed, how are you going to repel that confrontation and be able to protect yourself? Beyond helping others to protect themselves, Steve is a husband and a father. And it was his own dad who put him into jiu-jitsu as a kid. A few years later, my dad got involved, and then it became kind of a, a family thing. We got our black belts at the same time. We started teaching together on the weekends. So it just gave us a lot of bonding time. Although Steve was put into jiu-jitsu as a seven-year-old child by his parents, as an adult, he didn't get his two boys involved. But now, one of his sons is choosing to follow in his father's footsteps. So now it's become kind of part of our family activities. Cool. Matthew, you got to bend your knees and lift at your bum. Well, it's just so fun to do. There's a lot of things. And what do you hope to be when you grow up? A uh, policeman, because that's what my dad does. It's definitely exciting and something that I think every dad or every parent you know, wants their kids to do something similar to what they grew up doing. So it definitely feels good to see them on the mat and doing well. This is something that they can now do together and they share and makes their bond a little bit closer. I think it's important for children to learn how to protect themselves. We learn how to use our words. Pull, 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 pull. But in reality, if somebody comes up to you, it's not words they're using, it's quite often force, and you gotta learn how to be safe and protect yourself. Although Steve will never push either of his boys towards a particular activity, he does hope to protect their special situation. Hopefully he uh, sticks with it, he enjoys it, he becomes a good you know, instructor in black belt and uh, we're able to you know, teach together. Hopefully when they have his own school or take over, take over my school, or so we'll see where that goes. And as Steve watches over Matthew's growth and development, he continues to look after others by helping them to help themselves. It's one of those life skills like swimming that I think everybody, you know, young and old, should have in their back pocket. In Chilliwack, I'm Tiffany Gurdon for Shaw TV. Good.